The Republic of South Africa and the United States are looking to make amends following an explosive claim by the United States ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Brigitte, that South Africa supplied arms to Russia when a Russian ship docked in the Western Cape in December. The accusation was denied by the South African government, who criticized him for going public with it. After a robust discussion with South Africa's Department of International Relations and Corporation, Ambassador Brigitte has since admitted to crossing the line by failing to follow established diplomatic procedures to voice his country's concerns. And has apologized earlier on Monday, South Africa's President Sir Ramaphosa once again reiterated the country's determination to remain non-aligned in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Now, joining us to discuss this further is international relations expert, Professor Jan Vetter. Uh, one welcome to you, Professor Vetter, and thanks for joining us on the news. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, Professor Vetter, diplomacy is often a delicate balance. Uh, was it unusual for the U.S. Ambassador Ruben Brigitte to make such an accusation? I think in the current uh, situation in the world order that we have, uh, where the United uh, States is almost a direct enemy of Russia, uh, the United States is confronting Russia uh, at every opportunity. And this was an opportunity, but it was a bit of an overreach. Uh, because the United States stepped on the toes of the South African government. And uh, the South African government was very much displeased. Now, Professor Vetter, South Africa says it's investigating. It will set up a panel of inquiry uh, to investigate this uh, incident. And at the same time, it's denying it. So... Uh, what's what, what's the way forward? Uh, how is South Africa, are there consequences uh, for South Africa? And uh, how long would this panel of inquiry take? And what are the uh, necessary steps to, to make it happen? I think for South Africa, there is a very delicate balance that must be kept. South Africa is very open towards Russia at the moment. And the accusation centers around a certain ship that docked in Simonstown. And that the accusation is that South Africa loaded ammunition and or weapons on that ship and gave that ammunition to Russia. Now, South Africa has declared itself neutral in the war between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, if South Africa gave ammunition to Russia, that would be a flagrant disregard and actually South Africa would have broke, broken its international stance of neutrality. Now, South Africa is also dependent on the West. We are thinking of the African Growth Opportunity Act that gives South Africa preferential access to American markets. And South Africa needs that access to American markets so that our economy, our products can be, can be sold in America. And it also opens up South Africa for American uh, money to flow into South Africa. So the South African government needs Russia on the one hand because there is a certain ideological um, kindness towards Russia. But it needs the West, especially America, because there are economic realities in play. So the future will see South South Africa uh, making nice with America. We will see a lot of effort going into the relationship with America. But on the other hand, we will also see efforts going into the relationship with Russia. 
South Africa will continue with its foreign policy of sitting on two chairs, and that will continue to cause stress in the future. Uh, a serious uh, diplomatic balancing act uh, for South Africa. Thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Jan Venter, Professor of International Relations. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us on New Central NC Continental Prime. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.